I think you could teach the entire class in stars and galaxies just by calling out color in the sky. We have made it to start. Five, four, three, two, one. It's really hard to understand exactly why all those weather events are happening, why they are often violent, and uh, why they are so unpredictable. I think there's a lot of mystery <laughs> in the sky. That's what inspires me, is that fascination with analyzing weather or with trying to understand what is happening. Sometimes I actually directly use elements uh, derived from uh, weather maps. I'm combining this with sort of shapes of clouds. That view of the earth or the view of the sky from above is impossible without knowing what's out there in the universe, or like striving to know. Uh, the constellations you see are patterns in the sky. If we know the patterns and can find them again, we might be able to understand how they change over time. All of these patterns lead us to bigger understandings, more profound understandings of the world we're in. These images are fascinating to me. Yes. And these, um, and they, they capture something that is factual, that is happening there, and I like to manipulate that imagery even more. When we look out into the unknown, we don't know why it's there and what it's made of. And by studying it and noticing patterns, applying scientific principles and imagination, we can make the unknown better known. Lift off of the space shuttle and the shuttle has cleared the tower.